is funny. Fernando de Rojas, La Celestina. Hi, and welcome back again. Don Quixote and Carrasco now agree that writing requires wisdom and skill and that critics are usually ignorant and arrogant. To compose histories and books of whatever type, it is necessary to have great judgment and mature understanding. When Don Quixote emphasizes that this is especially true of humorous writing, he refers to the comic figures of the Eras Theater. The most astute character in a play is the fool, because he who wishes to be taken for a simpleton cannot afford to be one. Carrasco then says that those who write prose face an additional problem. Since printed works are taken in slowly, it is easy to spy their flaws. Moreover, those who are not themselves writers should hold their tongue. Those who enjoy and take particular pleasure in judging the writings of others without having brought anything of their own into the light of the world. Did you know Sansón Carrasco is a student of the University of Salamanca, which established the basis for the modern study of economics? Carrasco argues that critics miss the forest for the trees, for they pay too much attention to the atoms of the bright sun of the work which they criticize. Even Homer made errors. But then Carrasco points out that what some think are errors might actually be beauty marks. It just might be that what seems wrong to them might be beauty marks which often increase the splendor of the face that has them. Wow, Cervantes lets Carrasco argue that his so-called mistakes have made his novel even more perfect. The chapter ends with a glance at the other two major complaints that readers had about part one. This passage is confusing, paradoxical even. Carrasco first quotes Ecclesiastes, Chapter 1, verse 15, stultorum infinitus est numerus, meaning infinite is the number of fools. But then he affirms that infinite are those who have enjoyed this history. How does Sanson Carrasco describe literary critics? A, as people that don't notice details. B, as people that don't participate in bullfights. C, as people that don't know how to ride a horse. Correct answer, A, as people that don't notice details. Switching gears again, he gives voice to readers perplexed by Sancho's missing ass and the 100 escudos that Sancho found in the suitcase in the Sierra Morena. He forgets to tell who was the thief who stole Sancho's gray. And they also say that he forgot to include what Sancho did with those 100 escudos that he found in the valise in the Sierra Morena. At this point, Sancho gets nervous and excuses himself, complaining of an upset stomach. Before departing, however, he promises to respond to Carrasco and all the other critics. I'll come back and satisfy your grace and everybody else who wants to ask questions regarding the loss of my ass, as well as how I spent the hundred escudos. After Don Quixote and Carrasco finish their banquet and take a siesta, Sancho returns. That's all for now. We'll see each other in our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.